So ladies and gentlemen, come on up and gather round. This microphone is, is not a projecting microphone, it's for cable um, access. So we want to thank Mark, Lindy, and Mike for coming and recording this wonderful event, which is the unveiling of our sixth Little Free Library in Brockton, Massachusetts. You know, we started this program about three years ago, and we think now we have given away somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 books in this community. We have a wonderful, wonderful public library and public library system in Brockton. But you know, if you're working three jobs and you're at the laundromat until midnight, sometimes it's just fun to peek in and see if there's a book in there that you'd like to take home. And if you have read a book, you can bring it after you finish reading it and put it into the little free library. This is a wonderful, wonderful example of a partnership between the community and a wonderful, wonderful corporate citizen. So Kevin Beggs, I'm gonna ask you if you'd come up here, please. Kevin is the owner of this Cary Hill Superwash. Kevin heard about the little free libraries and not only did he purchase the library, he had his landscape crew install the library and he's going to work with one of our stewards to make sure the library is filled. So if you'd like to say hello and why you did it, we'd appreciate it, Kevin. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Kevin Beggs and we heard about it from Andy Pariseau, our next door neighbor, literally, and he uh, is very involved with the program and we were very happy to help out uh, and uh, uh, make sure it uh, got put in place and here we are today for the unveiling. Wonderful. So if you can stay right here, I'm going to thank our city councilor of Ward 5 and Beauregard for coming to our event today. Give her a hand. And we also have our Ward 5 school committee member, Judy Sullivan, here. And we have Rob May of the planning department here. And the farmer's market is represented. And Ray Henningsen. So we have some great, great folks. So at this point, I'm going to ask Andy and Maya Carpenter to come up. Kevin, you stay right here. You're not free yet. And talk a little bit about this um, wonderful program. All right, Andy. Well, I met Lynn a few years. I met Lynn a few years ago as part of the uh, Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Garden on VFW. Oh, I always get it wrong. Legion Parkway. Yes, and uh, ever since then, she's been a positive, mostly influence on me, and in large part because of the little free libraries. They're really a lot of fun, and it's very rewarding to see what flows through. Uh, this will be mine. Thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. And Mr. Mayor. Okay. All right. Well, it's uh, great to be here with everyone uh, tonight for the unveiling of our sixth, sixth, sixth little free library here in the city of Brockton. Um, I, I love this community outreach effort. Uh, you know, this is really about, it's about neighborhood, it's about community, it's about quality of life for people here in the city, uh, spreading literacy helping people have access to books that may not have an easy way to just get to uh, the downtown library. But I was thinking about it driving over here. If, if you're going to put out books for people to read, is there a much better place than the laundromat to have stuff to read? I mean, everyone's been stuck at the laundromat with nothing to read at one time or another, right? So uh, I think it's uh, we appreciate very much on behalf of the city your contribution, your involvement, and your willingness to to bring a little free library here. And uh, Linda, it just continues to grow and grow and grow. So uh, very pleased and excited to be here and be part of this tonight. And uh, looking forward to the unveiling. So I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to have the mayor and Andy and Kevin maybe grab a corner and we're going to count down five. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, ta-da! Wonderful! 
So the little I'm free. I'm not an expert on this, but isn't there supposed to be books in it? There are <laughs> supposed to be books. So, Mr. Mayor, I'm going to ask you to go over to the table because oh, there's a book on the table that every mayor of every big city needs, and that's a thousand and one things to do with duct tape. There we go. That's right. So come on in. You can put the first book in. The title of the book is Stick It. That's why she asked me to do it. <laughs> Apparently from some of my admirers on social media, yeah. And Anne Beauregard, I think there's a book over there called The Kid Who Wants to Grow Up to Be President. I think that's the perfect book for you to put in. Oh, yes, how interesting, yes. Look at that, yeah. There you go. Would you like oh, to say a few words? Oh. Uh, Lynn, just thank you for another uh, great little library, and we're going to continue to feed it with all kinds of good books for everyone, and take advantage, and I hope this continues to grow great. all over the community. Thank you so much. And Judy, I know, being a member of the school committee, you love the classics, and I think there's a book called Little Women over there that's a classic that should go in. So come on in, and you put your book in. And maybe you'd like to say something? Hi, I'm happy to be part of uh, people enjoying reading. Thank you so much, Judy. All right, Kevin, I need you to pick out a book. What, which one of those books would you like to pick out and put in? Oh, I thought you were going to pick the one about how to attract a girl in five days. <laughs> yeah. It's like a war novel. Uh, yeah. A Bridge Too Far. A Bridge Too oh. Far, okay. Great. All right. And who else would like to pick a book? Everybody go over to the table and grab a book and let's fill this little free library up. Oh, my favorite. So Andy Pariso, our yeah. steward. Kimberly Zazua, she's the president of Psi Iota Omega, a chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And chairperson of the new Women's Commission. And chairperson of the Women's Commission. Thanks so much. Oh, a great one for kids, Barnyard Stories. Thank you. And Mark Lindy of Brockton Community Access. Oh, a soldier story. My dad. Absolutely. So I think this is great. Keep doing it. And we started with the, the things made, the libraries made from the students at Southeastern. Great. Ray Henningsen, do you have a book you'd like to put in? I have the Bobsy Twins, which is a classic edition, and it's from the Bobsy Twins on Blueberry Island. Excellent reading. And good big font, too, for those of us with bad eyes. All right. Rob, you look like you might have a good book to put in. I have got The Big Hungry Bear, which is kind of fitting, and uh, we grow strawberries in our backyard, so it's, it's perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. John, how about you? I got the secret garden. Oh, that's perfect. You can't really farm. sell stuff from the garden at the farmer's market, but it's close enough. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and thank you everyone for coming. And now that you've all done such good hard work, we'd like to invite you to take a cupcake, either eat it here or take it home in one of the little carriers, and there's cold drinks in the cooler. So again, this is a wonderful program in Brockton. All of the volunteers from the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, Little Free Library Number 6, Rotary of Brockton put one in, over at Hancock Park and library number seven stay tuned is coming to the George Keith Park in Campello so thanks so much for joining us I'm Lynn Smith from the Keith Park neighborhood and Frederick Douglass neighborhood associations
the little free libraries. And look, it matches your shirt. Well, there you go. It's green, <laughs> just like your shirt. See, you have to that shirt in time. His, <laughs> his shirt is perfectly Clean. I wonder why. You and wonder? Chris <laughs> helped out with all of the installation. And yeah. for everybody yeah. who yeah. came today, uh -uh. we have yeah. a wonderful yeah. little yeah. free library yeah. bookmark. Okay. Yeah. Everybody say little free library. Little free library. Woo.